Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Josh Inspires. Today we're back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get shaders in Minecraft. So if you want shaders in the latest version, which at the moment is 1.14, of course this will work for any version. But all you need to do is you need to obviously download the shaders, and to do that you just open up your web browser, go to optifine.net, then you go up here to downloads and you will find the version you want it for. You can scroll down, you can view all the versions. I'm going to be getting it for 1.14.4. And I usually just use the mirror as it's a quicker download, but you can use the regular download. You just hit download on this. You get this little thing. It usually will redirect you to an ad. You don't have to worry about that. But hit keep down here. It's a Java file. It won't harm you. Can wait for that to download it. Sometimes it'll do this. There we go. You can just drag this anywhere. It doesn't matter where you put it. As you can see, I've downloaded it many times before but also let's assume that you're doing this on a clean version of Minecraft so I actually need to log in just so all right so I've went ahead and I've logged in here's my Minecraft as you can see and I'm on the latest release of 1.14.4 so you just want to go ahead and hit play at least once so your Minecraft can create all the files in your computer and it, everything can run well so I'm just going ahead and loading it it's going to take a minute, just give it a second. Alright, my Minecraft is finally starting. We got the Mojang logo loading up. Alright, there we go. Alright, now after this you can just go ahead and close your Minecraft. Um, there we go, and what you want to do next is you just want to double click on the Optifine download. Uh, you want to open it with Java, so if you can't do that initially, just go open with and then Java. And if you can't find it, just hit choose another app and find Java. And yeah. <clears throat> Now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and hit install. It's literally that simple. It will direct it directly to your .minecraft folder. And and there we go. Now Optifine is installed. And Optifine allows you to get shaders. So if we go back onto Minecraft, which it opened on my second monitor, as you can see, so now that you've opened Minecraft again, you can click down here and you can see that you have Optifine. And it's got like the version you installed, so Optify 1.14.4. Just go ahead and hit play on that. It will open Minecraft for you. And here we go. So now we have Optifine, and of course you're going to want shaders. So let's just go ahead and create a world so you can see how we're going to install those shaders. All right, well, this was a pretty good spawn. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, Minecraft regularly, and if you go into your video settings, you'll see that you have all of these different things uh, that you can do. You can even up your chunks all the way to 64 on or 48. Uh, on some versions, you can go to 64. Um, but yeah, you can up your chunks and do a lot of things with uh, Optifine that increase your performance. And then you'll see this little thing called shaders. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to open your shaders folder by clicking this button. And you're going to want to download some shaders. So to do that, we're going to go right back to your web browser. You're going to search up Silders Shaders. This little website, silder-shaders.github.io. And you want to go to download. And so this, uh, he'll have, these are free shaders to download. <clears throat> of course, you can download any that you want, but usually he is, these are free and they're very good for like just being free. They're updated like all the time. Right now it's the 19th and the latest update was the 12th. So you can get. Uh, any one of these but I usually download the highest because my computer can handle it but yeah what and it'll take you to these uh, sites and it's fine just wait for up here you hit skip and there you go there's downloads close all the ads and I'll go ahead and download all of the shaders that way you guys can see uh, the difference between them the extreme version is going the higher up you go the more uh, your computer is going to need to be um, basically the heavier <clears throat> the heavier load your computer is going to have to process. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the high and the medium and the lights. There we go. I'm just going to keep on going through.
now I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. I've gotten all six. If you end up not liking these shaders, you can just simply Google free shader packs for Minecraft and you can find many. But yeah, now that you have your download, you just want to drag these straight into the shader packs folder and just drag them right in. Like so. Alright, and as you can see, all the shader packs are in here. So we have the extreme, volumetric lighting, extreme, high, high with motion blur, high, light, and medium. And you can just choose between the ones you want. And the obviously, the light, medium, and high versions are for PCs that aren't as good. So if you have like a laptop that you don't think can run shaders that well, uh, these should run on just about anything. But you can always choose the light version, which I'll show you. It'll go through a quick loading. Don't know why this is here. But okay, so <clears throat> so this is light, the light version. I need uh, that thing to get away, but yeah. <clears throat> so this is the light version of shaders, as you can see. It makes Minecraft look pretty good. Uh, it's running pretty well. We're getting a good 60 frames per second. I usually get higher frames per second, but it's fine. Uh, and then if we go up to the medium version, we it, it makes it just a little bit better. You know, there's a noticeable difference. And then, if you want, you can go to the high version. And just a bit better, too. Uh, still no mer motion blur, as you can see, but you can go up to the high motion blur. And as you can see, it just gets better and better with each, with each one. You can go through and go to the extreme version. Obviously the higher you get, the more intensive it's gonna be on your PC, but like the better the shadows are gonna render, the better everything's going to look, the better the water's going to look. Uh, yeah, you can also go to extreme volumetric lighting and this will give you motion blur alongside being pretty awesome. So yeah, here is the extreme version. Of course, you can always choose the light if you don't want. Uh, something as big as this but like the higher up you go the better it'll look and yeah this is how it looks Thank you. 